Jesus Christ, has it been a while? Uh, nine days, in fact. Uh, I know because I checked before I started recording. It's been even longer since I've made an actual video instead of a couple uh, shit posts. So, uh, you know, it's been a little bit. Boy, isn't periodic depression fun to deal with? Real hard to want to make videos when you don't even want to get out of your bed. Ooh, good start to a video. Um, this game has kind of got an interesting past. It's the sequel to a game that was originally called Spin Tires. That's why below the title right here it says a Spin Tires game. Apparently that's like a series or brand now. I don't know. But um, the initial game came out in 2014. The first game just called Spin Tires. It was just made by some dude and published by some uh, some like kind of indie publishing company from what I can tell. And then like a month or so later, after he put it out on Steam, he claimed that the company locked him out of his own game and he was not able to do anything. It was It was just a really weird issue. And then I just saw the other day that this was out and I thought, oh, I never played the original one and it looked interesting. So I'm going to try it out now. I've already played a little bit of it, but this is what I thought to myself yesterday when I got it. It doesn't matter. Not really super important. This game, uh, let's go to single player. I've already played a bit, so let's just continue. Um, this game's interesting because it's not what you'd normally expect from a game where you kind of just drive around and do... Um, I know people are going to bitch about this before I even start, so I'm playing with keyboard and mouse because this game's control scheme is horrible for an actual like Xbox controller. I have a nice Xbox One controller. A nice, fancy, like, pretty new one, like, less than a year old. But I can't play this game well with it because the... It's too... It's a little bit too clump, complex and complex. It's just on the cusp of being too much for a controller to handle. So, uh, I'm not. So shut up. This game, as you could probably tell by the fact that the front of my car is plunged into the earth, if this massive mother <laughs> will get in my way. Um, it's interesting because you need to traverse an area doing different things and try to get through all this mud and gook, basically. It's pretty f cool. If I s press E here, you'll see in the bottom left it turned all-wheel drive on so now I can actually kind of get through. And then if I press Q, it turns on the differential lock. I don't f know what that does, but it makes it easy to go more good in dirt and mud. Um, but not flawlessly as you can see but also the downside to that is you consume more fuel that way this car doesn't really matter because it's kind of just a, a little little jeep so um let's turn the engine off if i can i don't remember how to do that there we go so i don't waste fuel while i'm trying to orient myself in this game all right so here's the map of one of the areas i guess it looks a lot bigger than what it actually is um, even though it's a pretty decent size, but uh, I'm right here, as you can tell by the big f***ing red arrow that says U. And I need to get... Well, I don't need to get anywhere necessarily, but I'm going to go back to my garage. Um, so I can kind of refuel and get reacquainted. So I'm just clicking to set little nodes to pathfind my way back. Okay, so I have set a little path back. And I'm going to head to my garage. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to even f do in this video. Because I'm not even quite sure, ooh Christ, what I can do in this game in general. Besides just kind of collect. Sorry about the camera, by the way. It's a little bit kind of f Um, it's just kind of wonky. So, I don't quite know what I'm going to try to accomplish. I think what I'm going to do that I can explain a little bit better when I get to my garage. I mean, I can explain it just as well, no matter what, so let's do it. Um, I'm going to try to find garage parts or whatever, because there's a second garage on this map that I need to unlock to kind of give myself another checkpoint, because you run out of fuel, and you can refuel at your garages and at fuel stations. So I want to find garage pieces so I can unlock that. I've already dropped one off, and I need to find three more. I don't know how to find them, if I'm even supposed to find them, really. Or maybe I'm supposed to buy them or something. I don't know. I haven't played this game much. I just know the gist of uh, navigation and control scheme. As you can see, one of the really interesting things that attracted me to this game years ago... Um, well, years ago, 2014. Ah, that's pretty long. That's four years now. Back in 2014, what attracted me to this game, but 
made me not be able to play it was my garbage computer is the fact that it's got kind of like procedural I'm gonna turn my all-wheel drive and differential off to show it off here procedural like mud sticking and like it splatters and like your car will what's even cool here I'll try to show you once I get out of here um, is just the fact that everything seems super well simulated like look at that I'm digging myself a rut now and it's hard to get out um, Another thing I can do besides turning on all-wheel drive and differential is if I press V to activate advanced mode and then click to lock myself out of the camera, I can select a source for my winch, which will basically make it so I can lock onto something and pull myself out of here. So let's turn the camera a bit and select maybe that tree. That looks rugged. Um, and if I go out of advanced mode, it'll kind of kick my parking brake off and pull myself out. And look at that, if I drive forward it'll help a little bit too. But what's cool that I'll kind of show you, um, along with the winch and stuff, is if I attach it to, uh, let's say like that, you can see that little pine tree here on the very right, right here is where I'm attached. Um, if I try to winch myself with that, it might not do it with this car, but I've done it with others. Is it kind of, ah, it didn't do it with that one. I've been in a very tough situation, like I, I was stuck in a spot, and uh, the only thing I could winch onto was a really small tree, and I was in like a massive truck, which I'll go show you when I get to the garage. It just ripped it out of the ground. So you can winch to pretty much every tree, from what I can tell, that's like standing up, but um, not all of them will actually work. I'm kind of here. I've really wedged myself in a in a hole, which I guess is the point of the game, so... I guess I'm doing good. I just I drove into this puddle for demonstration's sake, and I kind of oops, kind of f myself over. Come on. There we go. Okay. Yep. All right, we're out. Oh Christ! Slap the headlights on so I can kind of see a bit better. Um, you can drive in first person, and it looks pretty good, and it's actually kind of usable. Uh, obviously, when you're playing a game that's basically centered around you managing your mud sticking abilities or lack of mud sticking abilities. I don't know. You're basically trying to make sure you don't get stuck. Um, that's why it's called spin tires because your tires spin in the mud. So I feel it's a little bit better to kind of have an outside point of view so I can see what the fuck I'm driving through. And um, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It feels really satisfying to uh, get yourself in and out of sticking situations, I don't know, it's, it's odd, um, I just kind of zoned out because I got a notification on my phone and I just kind of talked on autopilot, so I guess I'll see in the edit how much, sen how much sense that sentence made, apparently I'm having a stroke at the same time, but I managed to stroke my way back to my garage, if I can get through the mud in front of it, like do these people not know what concrete is, it's the 21st century, put some down, for f sake, um, I think I was driving that big one on the right with like the the wooden trailer um there we go so now that i'm here i just got fuel and then it brings up this little install menu on this vehicle i can only install a little spare tire which gives me basically like a health kit it lets me repair it or i can install a trunk which gives me a little bit more fuel and some more repair points um but uh oh uh, you can't really tell yeah you can okay see the the car just kind of sunk with that on, I might have a lot of things on me. I can carry 80 liters of fuel and 200 re uh, repair points more, but I'm also going to be heavier, so I can't get through mud as easy. Um, if I uninstall it, you see it goes away. If I reinstall it, you don't have to pay money for this. It just shows the thing um, rising and lowering. So it's a pretty, pretty neat little system. I think it's, it's interesting and uh, pretty well implemented, considering it's the whole fucking game idiot. Alright, if I go into advanced mode and click change truck, I can just kind of look around and pick whatever one I want. I'll pick this one, because this is the one I'm looking for in the first place. You can see a little bit more um, options for the bigger vehicle. It's pretty plentiful, so what I have installed right now is something that can just carry short logs. I don't fully understand the rest of this, but what I was going to slap on this is the garage trailer. If I install that, um, it won't let me because my truck is in a weird spot. So... Yeah, that makes a little bit of sense. Let's get out of this and drive the truck. Actually, change of plans. I just went to the menu, uh, or the map menu, whatever, to uh, skip the night. I'm going to 
actually do the objective, which is probably what you should do in most video games. Um, you can see here where my mouse is circling in the middle. I'm going to head to the left, and it shows the game objective for this like kind of free roam single player deal. There's challenges too that are a little bit more restrictive. You're in like one thing and you have to do one task, and you're not allowed to go outside of that task. Essentially, this I can kind of do whatever I want and then do the objective whenever I feel like it. Uh, the main objective. Um, it might be the only objective in this map from what it looks like. The main objective, at least for now, is I have to deliver eight loads of lumber to each lumber mill. It looks like there's just one on this map, unless there's one that I haven't discovered in this watch point thing. So, I guess I'm going to have to get up to a log station, which is either right here on the very top left or kind of in the top middle and I'm at the middle bottom. So, all right, I've plotted the first little bit of the course uh, in the map because you can't plot crazy far. You can only do a certain amount of nodes and I have to do more nodes to get around curves. It, I don't know, it, I'll whatever, I'll figure it out. But we're on our way up to the top left corner, even though we're in the bottom middle because it seems like it's the most direct route. There was another one in the middle top, as you will remember from about two seconds ago, probably. Um, and that one didn't seem like it had immediate road access. Like, it looked like you could get to it, but you had to go in a super roundabout, completely off-road kind of way. So I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go the long way and, yeah, I'll deal with the consequences of that, probably. All right, I just slapped on all-wheel drive and the differential and... Boy, does it help. I want to avoid the water, because you will get f***ed in water. Um, oh yeah, there's also damage mechanics, as I just demonstrated there. How thoughtful of me. Yeah, the damage mechanics, uh, I don't know what happens when you get too damaged. I know I've gotten pretty damaged in my... Oh, you know what? No, I do know what happens when you get a little bit damaged. I've gotten damaged to the point where my thing was still operating, my vehicle. I think it was this one, actually. Um, you repair them just by going to the garage. It refuels and repairs when you get to a garage you have unlocked. But... What happened when I damaged it a little bit too much was it um, started sparking and making horrible sounds to tell me I f***ed up and also was uh, draining a little bit more liters per minute of fuel. Um, as you see in the bottom left there, there's the top bar. I use more fuel with my all-wheel drive and differentials on, and I also, um, apparently one of the damage things is like your That was a little bit concerning. Audio cut out for a second. <laughs> Alright, I just had to take a mental note and a visual note. I just had to make a note in general, Jesus Christ, of the uh, status of all my shit on the right hand side. I have my screen recorder and my audio recorder both up and it looks like they're both still, yep, okay. They're both still going. See, here's a tricky situation. I gotta get through this in this and you can't go too deep and I don't know if this truck can, oh yeah, okay, never mind, we're good. I took one vehicle through here before and it kept on telling me dangerous water levels or something like that. Like, it, every so often it would take a bump that brought it just below the line of safety. So I don't know how many vehicles can actually make it through there. But apparently this is one of them. So, hooray. Alright, you can see in that little amount of time we went from here all the way down this road all the way up to here. So the map's big, but not really that big. Like, it's it's deceptively small, but also still large enough to satisfy you and like i said this isn't the only map it looked like there was like nine or so it, I, I didn't look at all of them because i figured this would kind of go by quick but it turns out it's a decent amount of time so who knows how much content's in this game besides the people who made it and the people who played it so a lot of people okay just reset my route or not reset it i programmed it a little bit further still not all the way though i don't know why there's a limit to how many nodes you can put on the map it's kind of annoying because you kind of have to plot multiple times. Maybe I'm using the map wrong, I don't know. But, goddammit, I should be able to use the map the way I want to use the map. Oh, I'm going to throw this little tidbit of information. Oh, sh... Um, excuse me, thank you. This might not end well. Oh, this is the place where there was no big trees, but lots of little trees to grab onto, and I couldn't get myself out that easy. Oh, I'm glad I took this route again. Good planning, idiot. As you can see, this game moves at breakneck speed so if you're somebody who gets motion sickness uh you should probably look away because we're going a little bit too fast for folks with your types of conditions so you know 
reconsider watching the video at a later date when you're not plagued with such illnesses. I don't know what it is about this game that gives me conflicting feelings. I mean, I do know what it is about the game that gives me conflicting feelings, but I'm not sure why I'm weighed more in the positive direction than I am the negative, because it infuriates me every time I get stuck in a fucking puddle of mud like this, or like even one that just slows me down a little bit that I have to fight to get out, because it's just annoying. It's, it's the equivalent of like quicksand in a video game, or just the thought of quicksand in general. It's just like annoying and a little bit stressful, and I kind of want to say I hate it, but I clearly don't, because I think this is a really, really, really fun game in a, a kind of mindless sit-down-and-play-for-a-little-while sort of deal, which tend to be the kind of games that I play. I'm kind of known amongst the people that I know as the p person who just plays garbage simulators. So that's the status quo that I'm trying to hit. Completely forgot, like, two or three minutes ago, back when we were at the marsh, I was going to say the stuff that I've kind of been working on um, a little bit more passively than actively, because obviously I haven't been putting videos out as often as I'd like to, even though it really hasn't been that long. It's only been a week since the last video. It just hasn't been a proper, like, gameplay video. But I have ju I just want to kind of, you know, throw out a, a, an update video here for you guys. Um, cue the entrance stuff. Don't actually do that though, that's stupid. Yeah, I've just kind of been planning a few, like, not scripted, well I guess they would be scripted, but um, a little bit more involved videos than just turning on a game, talking, and then editing it down to resemble something that some people might consider comedy. Uh, ooh, that's, that's a big reach there. But I, it's, I, I kind of want to work on something a little bit, a little bit juicier. I've got a couple things written down in a Google Doc, and then I've got a couple collaborations that I want to make with my buddy Josh, uh, or Real Messi, uh, eventually. Well, it's just kind of stuff that is sitting on the back burner until I either get motivation or the ability to actually work on it, so eh, not much I can do. I really should have picked a truck that can carry more logs. I could have finished this entire level in one go. God damn it. Well, now this truck's full of logs. Let's drive it to the opposite side of the map. We're up here, I gotta get all the way down here. So yeah, basically I've got the uh, the kind of foundations of a few, I think, decent ideas that I'm looking to actually, you know, start working on. Probably pretty soon, it's just such a, a, a big thing, all of the ones that I want to do, at least comparatively in uh, the case of stuff like this, that it's, it's kind of difficult to jump into it and start doing it. Um, but I'm definitely going to start chipping away at some of those. And uh, hopefully they'll be decent. I was going to say something else, but as I was saying this, it completely... Ooh, it completely fell out of my head. Like I almost fell off of this hill. Oh man, almost didn't make it over this hill. Oh boy. That's when you got to bust out your winch and haul your way up. This is also going to be a slightly different video um, in terms of tone, I guess? I don't know. I mean, it probably already is because I haven't recorded anything in like two weeks. Um, but I am probably going to start phasing out the more M-rated stuff. Um, as you can tell from the editing that I obviously haven't done while recording, but have decided upon now. Uh, it's not there, the swears. It's, it's some comical bleep sound effect or whatever. I don't know. We'll see what I put in. I'm sure it'll be an absolute riot. But yeah, uh, it, it's, you know, uh, it, it kind of started bouncing around in my head. Uh, I mean, it has been for a while, obviously. Uh, the thought of kind of, Jesus Christ, I keep f***ing my vehicle up here. The thought of kind of abandoning, uh, just throwing everything out there with the, uh, the swears and the, you know, kind of, like I said, more M-rated uh, whatever. Not that I'm going to force myself to change, but just I'm going to kind of tone it down, probably. Um, I mean, I guess at this point it doesn't matter. I don't have a huge following. Um, like, w when Ninja said he was going to do it, um, or that he was doing it for his streams, people lost their saying, oh, you don't need to censor yourself for a bunch of, a bunch of little kids. But uh, it's smart. You kind of have to. 
on YouTube now. I mean, the thing that really pushed me over the edge recently, uh, within the last couple of days, I watched Phil, the Phil DeFranco show for, you know, news every day uh, that he posts. And he started to, like, phase out all the kind of demonetizationable... De what? What? All the stuff that could potentially be deemed not safe for general audiences, he's kind of started to phase that out. So he'd always, you know, call his audience a certain phrase and has started to kind of dial back the phrase. And everybody in the comments section, I, as soon as I heard it, I was like, this is going to be a big deal. Um, I know we're in here again, by the way. I notice it, and I don't think we can get through. Um, but I noticed it, and I went to the comment section, and everybody's like, yeah, makes sense. We still know what you're trying to say, but obviously can't say it anymore. So um, it just makes sense, and it's unfortunate that that, that that's the situation we kind of have to be put in. Um, but I mean, what are we gonna do, right? On YouTube, I mean, less so me because I'm not depending on it, um, and probably never will be. But um, boy, Jesus Christ, that was pessimistic of me. But you know what I'm saying? It's it's a hard thing to get up to that level and be like, oh, this is my job, and I can rely on it, and then the fact that you have to go and change the way that you present yourself um, in a way that really doesn't matter to the person that's both hearing it and saying it like it's you know using a using a swear word or or something that might be a little bit risque for somebody that would understand the content anyways there goes that tree um, I, I don't I just don't understand the 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 whole you know tizzy that the advertisers get, and obviously in this day and age of, you know, over-political correctness that they don't want to be associated with anything that could potentially be deemed not safe for a general audience, and I understand that, but it's just dumb, because even TV shows push the bar way more than a decent chunk of the internet, you know, production. It, it, it's just weird, like, there's many, many, many shows that do a whole lot worse that advertisers would die to get their brand name attached to. Like, look at Game of Thrones. I have not watched Game of Thrones, and I'm not necessarily planning on it, but I haven't completely shut it out. I'm just saying, it's a show that probably has swearing in it, I'm assuming. It's got full-out nudity in it, so I'm sure you know, that there's swearing in it. And I can guarantee you, every single advertiser would kill to have their name attached to that. More or less. Like, there's probably a couple companies that wouldn't on some sort of like religious or like ultra moral ground but they're in the super 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 small minority like there's definitely more advertisers that would want to be tied to that than there are advertisers that wouldn't so it just doesn't make sense that they cut it out for digital content i mean you can go into conspiracy theory territory and start saying it's the big you know television conglomerates that are trying to keep the free internet content down so they can make more money and you know, there's probably some truth to that in a very, very small, less lunatic-oriented way, I guess. But Or not lunatic, but like conspiracy theory riddled person, like a Pepe Silvia situation. Um, I'm sure there's some truth to it. Because it, you know, there's so much money and power in that industry that they could very easily, ooh, influence advertisers to go another way. And the advertisers don't really care uh, because they can get paid off of TV just as much as the internet in their eyes at the very least it's just it you know my point in general is that jesus christ this is a spawned a tangent i just looked at how long i've been talking about this um the point is it's ooh, the point is i'm really trying to focus on multiple things is that i'm i gotta kind of adapt because the fact that i have no audience already is kind of a blessing and a curse because it's hard to get noticed on youtube in general uh even before all this stuff but if I'm going to start throwing out content that they don't absolutely fully agree with, I'm, I'm completely dead in the water right away, right? Like, there's nothing I can do at all. Like, I, I can't influence them because even top creators can't. Like, look at, look at PewDiePie. He's obviously not endorsed by them anymore, but he's the most subscribed channel on the site. And even they completely shrug him off whenever he says anything. Like, they don't acknowledge anybody. It's just the the unfortunate truth of the situation so if i'm looking to do anything on here other than around in my free time um and that's gonna have to be bleeped i it, you know other than mess around in my free time and do this as a distraction from whatever if i'm gonna actually want to make something out of this uh, i'm gonna have to 
change up even in a very slight way because it really in the end won't really impact the quality I guess um, especially if I kind of branch out away from what I'm doing but it, it's 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 just something that was kind of bouncing around in my head and once I saw it kind of kicking on to people that I respect and their opinions I understand um, in the YouTube space I thought I, yeah I might as well start because if I get the habit going now by the time I have the ability to kind of break out, I'll already be set, and I won't have an issue there, right? I mean, I'm sure I still will, but it won't be as severe and dominating and, you know, troubling, I guess. I don't know. Boy, that was like a, a ten minute, probably, conversation. I don't remember when I started it, but it's the time is a lot higher than when I, I last remember looking at my recordings. I check them pretty often, um, just to make sure everything's still going, because I've had stuff die or you know, me forgetting to start. I've, I've had stuff like that way too often, and it's 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 a lot of work to sit and talk for 45 minutes to an hour to two hours, depending on the type of video, and then realize, ah, sh uh, did it again. I realize, oh no, I didn't press start on something, or as soon as I started, something was laggy, or, you know, the audio's too quiet. It, there's an infinite amount of things that could not be right at the start, so I dart back and forth between the two pretty much the entire time I'm playing a game. I don't want to go here. I want to go to the lumber mill. We're almost there. Hopefully my rant made the ride seem a little bit shorter, or in more likelihood, it made it seem infinitely longer. Oh, there we go. That was a little bit scary. <laughs> I'm like pretty much done. I'm on my way to the actual mill to drop all this wood off, and the game gave a little bit of a stutter obviously, as you can see. I don't know why I feel the need to narrate that. Like, it's it's a video, idiot. Oh, no! Um. Oh. Well, if somebody ever asked me to describe how my life is going, I'd probably show them that clip. Because I feel like it sums up my feelings of existence pretty concisely. Uh, I guess that's it. Okay, uh, see you in the next video, homies. Make sure to like that smash subscribe button and follow me on Pinterest for new tutorials on how to get Thanos in Fortnite. Okay, bye.